So today is the day we get our Steelmaster Kwanzaa Hub building delivered. I'll be using this beast of a forklift machine to unload that off of the truck. And uh, we'll have to find a place for it because I'm not sure exactly where best to put it to keep it out of the way so that the other crew can continue to work on grading the spot where the shop will end up going. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, and uh, keep up to date with our progress here on the homestead. So here we are, we have all of the materials to build our Kwanzaa hut unloaded and kind of have it uh, in the spot where we would normally park the cars, but that's the best place for now to place it. It's hard to imagine that these few pieces of steel end up making a 30 by 40 foot shop. But it uh, seems all to be there. Uh, there's a bunch of buckets and containers that came with it as well with all the bolts to assemble the whole thing. Um, but I had to keep that space down there where they've been working uh, available and open since they're going to continue to work on that. It's another day on the homestead. We are here clearing more dirt to make the grade nice and level for the shop and the cabins and make it kind of all the same. Uh, but we're gonna have to remove a lot of dirt uh, and that's what they're up to today. They should get most of that done along with removing that big pile of stumps right there. 
Hopefully that'll go nice and smooth. But woo, show that. Oh my gosh, hot mama! Hey, everybody! So, another day on the homestead. We ran into some challenges here today uh, as the crew was uh, digging out the spots for the foundation for the shop. Uh, they had dug away so much material that when they went to dig out the spot for the foundation, they cut the water line coming from the well as well as the power line to the pump on the well. So as you can see, the water line is cut and they did a hack job just for now hooking the wires back up just so we have power to our well. They were digging out. Uh, this is the back side of the shop. What we did to fix it as a quick um, and actually better solution long term is to reroute the water line from the well around the shop. That way if anything ever happens in the future we can still get to it. We found out in this process of fixing the water is that my well water line goes to a spigot on the neighbor's property. Um, originally the neighbor's property was owned by the same person. So I guess when they installed this well, they figured uh, they would um, have a spigot over there. We may end up rerouting that, cutting that off and then just going straight up to my place so they don't have to worry about feeding that we may put in a new spigot somewhere else. Probably one next to the shop uh, and one, another one maybe over there have access for water uh, to put out fires or whatever, um, just in case. But uh, I don't need to be running water down there, losing pressure to that spot when I'm never gonna use it. They also had uh, delivered today um, the grinder pump, which you can see behind me. And uh, 
that'll go in between the cabins and that'll help pump everyone's poo up the hill and make sure that it uh, makes it up that uh, and so that that's what uh, this big blue cylinder is and uh, we'll be positioning that once we get the exact location of the cabins laid out that should be coming up uh, maybe soon tomorrow who knows they picked up as you saw in the video they picked up most of the pile of stumps with two dump trucks but it was still so much that two dump trunks wasn't dump dump trucks dump trucks dump if i can say that two dump trucks uh wasn't enough to haul off so as you can see we still got a bit of a pile of stumps but most of it's gone and that allowed them to uh fill in more of the dirt off to the side of the driveway here so as you can see they can they filled in a little bit more of the dirt off to the side. That'll make for some nice parking area. We'll put a retaining wall along the property line over there and we'll backfill that. And then maybe add some plants and things just to make it nice. And then uh, that gives us parking for the cabins or turnaround space for coming out of the shop. And we have this space here just off to the side of the driveway we're gonna have them take some of that extra dirt, they'll have plenty, and kind of fill in and extend the dry, the side of the driveway there. And we'll put a retaining wall uh, behind, uh, along here we'll have a retaining wall. And then they can fill that in, bring that out. And then right in here, we will have our fire pit with some nice seating around it. And the idea there is that that'll give you a nice view of the trees and the sun when it goes down at night, hang out around the fire. And then what we'll do along this bank, you can see the property lines markers. We will put a retaining wall along the property line up four feet, bring that over and terrace it up to the edge up there. So we'll do terracing with four foot walls so that we don't need a permit. But before we do that, we will connect the grinder pump from way over there all the way over to the existing septic, which we just fixed up over there. So things are coming together. It's never, uh, things don't always go as planned, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, just waiting for the permits. I'll probably bug the county office on that just to see how that's going and uh, see if we can move things along. So don't forget to like and subscribe and keep up with all this craziness here on the home front. another day here on the tiny home front and uh, the crew is busy as you can hear I'm sure they are digging a trench for <coughs> the cabins to deliver the poo up to the septic system from the grinder pump and so they're out there right now digging a trench across our driveway and hooking it into our existing septic system.
existing septic comes out of the side of the a tiny home here runs down the side of this hill and pops out right there and the plan is to tie into that from the grinder pump hose along this ditch all the way back to the cabins.